Hello, everyone. Welcome to Grave Stories from a Grave Digger. My name is Nathan Barnett, and I am a former grave digger from New England who is extremely afraid of everything. I'm gonna read some spooky stories to you this evening. So, uh, I grew up in Massachusetts, which you all know, and my mom and dad and my brothers and brother I don't say brothers and sisters, I don't have sisters. My brothers and I moved to Milford, Massachusetts, into this house, and apparently there was like a ghost in the house, and the people who lived there before us told my mom, oh, this stuff happens, and like one time apparently there was a long mirror on the wall, and the mirror slid down the wall and stopped when it hit the floor. It came like undone off the wall, and that's happened to the person who lived in it before us. And she's like, "That was pretty weird." And my mom was like, "Oh, this is awesome!" So my mom really likes ghosts and ghost stories and things. Um, and we thought it was exciting, but you know, we're kind of like uh, a little bit afraid. Um, so one night, I was—I guess I was twenty or so, or t maybe no, I wasn't twenty-one yet. I was twenty. I was dating a girl, my girlfriend at the time, was sleeping over. Seth was at his girlfriend's house and Josh was at college. So the only people in the house were my mom and dad who were downstairs and me and my girlfriend upstairs. My parents fall asleep at like nine o'clock and they don't have a door in their room. So I can hear my mom and dad like snoring from my room because their room was right below my room. And the house is very small. You can hear everything. We could never sneak down on Christmas morning to see the presents without making a ton of noise going down the stairs because they're old stairs. It's a very small house and you can't sneak around in this house. It's just, it's just impossible. So we're laying there. My girlfriend and I are laying there. I'm sleeping on the floor because I wasn't allowed to sleep in the bed with her. She's sleeping in my bed. I was laying on the floor next to the bed. Uh, and then like maybe three feet away was the door. And we're laying there talking. And then all of a sudden, the doorknob jiggled super fast it went like doo -doo 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 -doo. like someone grabbed it and rattled it for like four seconds and we both were like stopped and like looked at the door and then i opened the door thinking it was my brother seth my thought was like oh it's seth he's trying to freak me out he came home from sarah's house his girlfriend's and was trying to freak us out open the door there was no one there i poked my head around the corner you can see into the whole other bedroom which was seth's room no one's there Looked this way into the bathroom, no one there. Stepped out onto the landing where the stairs are. It's like the staircase and all the rooms right off it. There's just like this tiny little area you stand. And you can see downstairs, you can see there's no one there in a matter of seconds. And he couldn't have run away. I would have heard him going through the house, running away, hiding. There was no one there. And then I closed the door and I was like, oh. She's like, who was it? What was it? And I was like, I, I, I don't know. And then I started thinking, oh, it's trash bag. Our cat's name was Trash Bag. And I was thinking, oh, he stood up on his legs maybe and reached for the no doorknob and touched it. But, and I was like, no, he wouldn't be able to grip it to reach that high. And that's like too high for him to even stretch. And that's when we started to get freaked out because there's no explanation. Who the heck grabbed the knob and jiggled it that fast? It's not like the knob was stuck and just turned. It was jiggled violently. So then we started getting freaked out. She was like, stop, no. And I was like, because I said, oh, it's probably the ghost. She did not like that. She did not want to hear that. And then I tried to make her feel better by talking out loud. I was like, oh, it's okay. And it also made me feel more comfortable by talking to the ghost because I was like so freaked out at that point. And I was like, oh, it's okay. We're, we don't mind. You come in. And she's like, no, stop. Why are you telling it to come in? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. So then I, op I, 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 I uh, well, I didn't open it just yet. Um. We were laying there more for a little bit more. I don't know what happened. We were, you know, freaking out about it. And then I started hearing this creaking. And it went like... It was like a rhythmic creak. And I was like, oh, come on. What the heck is this? But I was also excited. But trying to act like, oh, geez. And like make my girlfriend feel like <laughs> safe. But this was like awesome and scary at the same time. Um... I opened the door again, but not as fast, and there was nothing there, and it stopped. The creaking stopped. So I stood out on the step, like just over like the threshold, you know, where the door is, and I made a creak when I stepped out on the other side of the door. I went, Ring! and then I, I turned around, 
back into the facing my room, facing my girlfriend who was like right there in the bed, and I could make the board creak, and I made it creak in the same way we heard it by rocking side to side, and it went ring, ring. And I was replicating it. And she goes, stop! And I was like, oh, so scared. Because basically, that is what the ghost was doing, we think. It was standing at the door, rocking like this, looking at us. That made me lose it. I was like, okay, this isn't good. This is so freaky. And we just tried to ignore it and go to sleep. And I think I got in the bed with her at that point. But uh, every time I'd, like, lay in the bed, I'd have to, like, remember to wake up before my parents. <laughs> my mom could, like, open the door and catch me in the bed, so I had to go back to the floor. So I don't think I really slept in that. I don't remember much else after the creaking, really, so I can't really continue the story beyond that. But... <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What the heck, man? <laughs> I... <laughs> That couldn't have been more on cue. What is going on? Dude, seriously. You saw that. I heard a noise, looked, it was the shovels falling, they fell over. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Why did the shovels fall? I don't like sitting here right why do the shovels fall at the perfect time every time? Right when I finish the story. Shut up! I don't like this. No, I don't like this. I'm so mad and frustrated and nervous and trying to not act nervous in case there's really a ghost here. I don't want it to see my weakness. I just want the shovels to stay up. I put so much tape on these things and mashed it into the carpet. <sighs> You're ruining my set, ghosts. <laughs>